and I will in this small tutorial show you how you can configure your FileZilla client so you can communicate with your domain. So the first thing that I will do is of course I will assume that you have already installed FileZilla client on your Mac. So therefore I will first open my FileZilla client on my machine. I will enter FileZilla and here we have the program FileZilla and this is the program that I will be using to communicate and to transfer files from my local machine, my Mac, and to my domain. So the first thing I need to do is to enter some information. Here in the top you see it says host name, username, password, and port. And I don't know what the information are, so I will have to log in either to my domain and find out, or I could also check my inbox and find the mail that I got or received that I received from my hosting company where the old information is kept there but I don't know where my email is so I will log on to one.com and try to see if I can find information so open the browser now again and I will here now enter one.com because one.com is my hosting company and I will click on the control panel and I will enter the credentials good so now I'm logged in to one.com my hosting company's website and I will now scroll down and see if I can find something with FTP FTP stands for file transfer protocol and here we have the yellow folder click on the yellow folder and here we have this web page um, and you see we have something that says SH, SSH and SFTP administration and we also have something that says FTP administration if FTP is turned on then turn it off and you should instead of that turn on SSH and SFTP because this is more secure it's a more secure way to communicate from your client and to your web hosting companies to your domain so therefore please turn off FTP by clicking on the radio button here and turn on SSH and SFTP so you see that I have already SSH and SFTP turned on so I will now click on the send button because I don't know what my password is so therefore, when you click on this button here, you will receive a mail with your host name, your username, and your credentials. So I will now click on the send button. And it says that, oh, it will now send you an in, in, an, in, in, an mail, and I have always received my mail, so I will now go and check my inbox. And here we see the letter from or the mail from one that come and we here now have the option in the mail it says hello and you can now change your FTP SFTP password so I will click on this green to call or green call to action button and here I have now the option to enter a new password so I will now enter a new password And save the password good so the next thing is now go back to one.com and this, this is already opened and now we know what my password is please write it down somewhere the password and now we can copy the host name it says what the host name is here so I'll right click and copy the host name now I will go back to the program FileZilla client and I will insert it here where it says host name I will go back to my web page again and here I will copy the username this is my username copy that and go back to file select client and insert your username and the last step is 
to insert your password and you already created your password so hopefully you know what your password is now if I maximize the window you will see that we have here on the right in the right side actually this is my domain and a domain is actually a server and here we have all my files on my server so all what you have here are available on the on the big internet on the left side you have your client machine and uh, this is actually how you can configure your filezilla so you can connect or transfer files from your client to your domain thank you for watching this video